Okay, let us discuss the next problem. This kind of problem we have already discussed one problem of this kind, this nature. Now this molecule is called pyridine. Uh, earlier we have discussed something about pyrrole. This molecule is called pyridine. If electrophile attacks on pyridine, whether this will attack, it will attack either on position number 2 or it will attack on position number 3 or it will attack at position number 4. 3 and 5 are equivalent, 2 and 6 are equivalent. So I have 3 position. Either it can attack on position number 2 or it can attack at position number 3 and or it can attack at position number 4. How will you get the answer? So simple. First you have to attack on 2 and make the resonating structure. Next attack on 3, make the resonating structure. Attack on 4, make the resonating structure and compare them. If you are getting a carbocation intermediate that is more stable, in that case attack will happen on that carbon. So let me take one or two minute time so that you can have some rough a sketch and then you write the solution part. So let me give you two minutes time. Okay, let me discuss the solution. So let us take first at attack at 3. Uh, let us attack on carbon number 3. If I attack on carbon number 3, this lone pair, so this goes here. Are you getting or not? This goes here. So carbon, I have electrophile attached here and then positive charge here. Now I can write resonating a structure. So I want to write resonating a structure for this molecule. So first step. I can put something like this. So this double bond goes here. Either you can write this way or you can write this way. Both are same thing. You can flow arrow from top. You can flow arrow from bottom. Both are the same thing. So there is a positive charge adjacent to double bond. We have already discussed what are the condition to writing resonance. One condition is lone pair uh, double bond pi bond adjacent to the uh, positive charge. So this can go here. So if it is goes here, so I will have a positive charge here. Now I can flow more if this goes here. I will have this double bond here and positive charge here. So this is another resonating structure. So there are three resonating structures. So you are getting a knot. So three resonating structure. So there are three resonating structure. Now if I attack on two, so let me see. If I attack at two, so this goes here. So you attach on electrophile attach on carbon number 2. So this is carbon number 2. You will have a positive charge here. Now if I start writing the resonating structure. So this goes here. You will have a positive charge here. Next this goes here. You will have a positive charge on nitrogen. Now this positive charge on nitrogen is unfavorable. Because electronegative atom containing positive charge. If you see the previous one. I don't have any resonating structure that contains positive charge on nitrogen. This does not have a positive charge in nitrogen. This also does not have a positive charge in nitrogen. This also does not have positive charge on nitrogen. So I have three resonating structures. No one has a positive charge in nitrogen. So this means these three resonating structures are a stable resonating structure. But if you see here, in this case, if you attack at two, there is a one resonating structure that contains positive charge in nitrogen. This means attack on two is less favorable than attack on three you see attack on three so attack on two is less favorable than attack on three so in this case i have an unfavorable structure that is a positive charge in nitrogen now let us attack at four so this point so if you attack at four you will attach here so basically what is happening this lone pair so this double bond 
goes here and you are getting a positive charge here. Now if you start writing resonating structure this flows here you have a positive charge in nitrogen. Next you can flow it here you will get positive charge here are you getting or not. So you are getting three resonating structure uh, this one is again unfavorable we call this contains a positive charge on nitrogen not this one basically this one uh, this one is unfavorable. So this one is unfavorable because this contains positive charge on nitrogen. So you see if attack happens on 2 or 4 positive charge comes on nitrogen. So max molecule unfavorable. So I can say attack should happen on 3 because 2 and 4 you see we have already discussed if attacks happen at 2 this one is 2 and this one is 4. If attacks app happens at 2 and 4 I am getting a positive charge on nitrogen that is an electronegative element. Electronegative atom, atom does not want to get positive charge. They are suffer much if they have positive charge. They suffer less or maybe they be, may, may be happy if they have negative charge. So electron electro negative atom wants to have negative charge. Electro positive atom wants to have positive charge but opposite is not true. Electro negative atom does not wants to have positive charge. Similarly electro positive atom does not wants to have a negative charge. This is a one important result. So you see if attack happens at carbon with 3 I am getting three resonating structures all are equally important they don't have positive charge in nitrogen. So in case of pyridine attack will happen on carbon number 3. So this molecule is pyridine. So on pyridine attack will happen on carbon number 3. Are you getting or not? So this will so pyridine you can remember attack will happen at carbon number 3 attack will happen on carbon number 3. If you remember we have already discussed one problem and that we said on pyrrol attack will happen on carbon number 2. So if you can remember that's fine. If you don't remember that's also fine. So pyrrol on carbon number 2, pyridine on carbon number 3. So this is all about the problem. If you have not written just write one and we will discuss the next problem. So this is pretty easy problem basically.